For years, Japanese have gone into the country's lush forests for what they call Shinrin-yoku, or forest bathing. And recently, these short trips into forests have now proven to be much more than relaxing getaways. The point is simply to be among the trees, no strenuous hiking or climbing. Thirteen years ago, Dr. Ching Li was one of the first to conduct research on forest bathing. He concluded that the essential oils the trees produce to protect themselves from germs and bugs can boost the human immune system. A lot of phytoside or essential oil is found in the forest. My research has shown that forest phytoside enhances activity of natural killer cells, reduces stress hormones, and relaxes us. And that a cancer-fighting protein within natural killer cells is increased during forest bathing. This is Akasawa National Forest. It's about a five-hour drive from Tokyo. It was here amid these giant cypress trees that forest bathing was born 35 years ago. It's also one of the few spots where scientific research was conducted, proving the health benefits of spending time in the forest. Dr. Lee's study had exhausted workers staying here for three days. Their natural killer cell functions were enhanced by 56%. Even after they went back to cities, it remained 23% higher than usual. The doctors are focused on the anti-cancer functions of natural killer cells. But the health benefits also come from the atmosphere, not just the chemistry. We usually quarrel, but not here. We are enjoying walking together. As soon as you get here, the stress is gone. It clears your mind and makes you feel positive. If nature can cure your illness, what could be better? Well. One way it could get better, if national health care and insurance companies paid for it. In the future, the time may come when doctors prescribe the forest instead of medicine. A possible future where our health could be improved not by advances in medicine, but by going back to nature. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Nagano, Japan.